गुड मॉर्निंग बंदे मातरम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर दिस मॉर्निंग विल बी ऑन योगा ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ब्यूटीफुल टॉपिक सो यू आर गोइंग टू हैव द डिस्कशन इन ब्रीफ सो दिस इज द टॉपिक योगा ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सी ओर इन द कोर्स इनिशियली इट इज नॉट ए होप बट ए सर्टिट्यूड it is not a hope but a certitude that the, com- the complete transformation of the nature will take place that is what complete transformation of the nature will take place it is not a hope but a certitude so this uh, certitude we know uh, we are moving uh, after transformation and the more upper this integral yoga the sadhakas who are pursuing this yoga they know it is also known as the yoga of transformation so here we are going to have uh, what about the transformation what are the things they are going to uh, change and how it will change that's what we want to focus upon here in this discussion so very interesting yoga of transformation uh, sri aurobindo quotes uh, beautifully by yoga yoga means union with the divine but to actually um, here till this uh, point of time we don't know um, what really the divine is meant and who what is divine anyway that uh, union it needs an union biggest union and uh, absolute union perfect union with the divine that is what uh, who is the all who is the highest this highest this uh, widest this all this everything it is these are all relative terms because we analyze everything in our mental conventional mental concept original things we don't know really what really they are meant what are the real meaning of these sentences anyway by yoga we can rise uh, out of falsehood into truth out of falsehood into truth out of weakness into force that is the second thing so first we can know with if you are pursuing the yoga first we must know out of the falsehood we must rise up to um, a truth then out of the weakness into force out of pain and grief into the bliss that is the third concept pain and grief from that you want to uh, rise up to bliss and out of the bondage into freedom that is the fourth one out of the death into immortality that is fifth and out of the darkness into light that is sixth seventh out of confusion into um, uh, purity then um, this is uh, seven so here number um, uh, eight we are seeing um, you, you can see here out of imperfection into perfection out of subdivision that is nine uh, into unity out of maya into um, uh, god the so ten greater things mother स्टीयर ऑफ इन द कोटेड हाउ दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विल टेक प्लेस वट इज द रियल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस योगा वाई वी आर परस्यूंग दिस इंटीग्रल योगा एंड स्पेसिफिकली वी आर लेटर पार्ट विल सी इट इज योगा ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो आई विल कोट इट अगेन ट्राई टू टेक इन टू दाई हार्ट दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मीन्स so we by this yoga we rise up to rise up uh, out of falsehood to truth out of weakness into force out of pain and grief into bliss out of bondage into freedom out of uh, death into immortality so out of the, um, then um, darkness into light out of confusion into purity out of imperfection to perfection and out of subdivision into unity and uh, finally out of maya into god great thing great great description all other utilization of yoga is for a special and a fragmentary advantage not always um, worth pursuing whatever we have seen till now they are fragmented they are partial fragmented fragmentary but here we can feel the completeness absoluteness of the yoga only what uh, only that which aims at uh, possessing the fullness of god in in purna is purna yoga that is the difference that which uh, really um, uh, we can find fullness of god in is purna yoga purchasing the fullness of god in purna yoga or we can know that is integral yoga so all yoga which takes entirely away from the world and a high but narrow high but narrow takes away from the life and the world 
narrow specification of the divine tapasya uh, and uh, all of the all yoga actually they are by characteristic who they take entirely away from the world from life it is it may be high but a narrow specialization of the divine tapasya god in his perfection embraces everything so we all must become all embracing that is the basic characteristic of this yoga must you must learn you must understand that is the basic characteristic and uh, sri aurobindo again uh, quoted here the principle of this yoga is not uh, a perfection of the human nature perfection is is not a perfection of human nature but uh, a psychic and spiritual transformation for that only sri aurobindo quoted it is a yoga of uh, transformation so not a perfection of the human nature human nature so many odds are there so we want to perfect it we want to change it that is not the purpose but uh, the real purpose the true purpose is that uh, psychic and uh, spiritual transformation of all the parts of the being through the action of the inner consciousness and then a higher consciousness which works on them and the throws the world movements uh, change them into the image of its own so transfer transmutes the lower into higher nature so this is the transformation truly transformation of the lower nature into higher nature that is what the purpose of this yoga so it is not so much the perfection of the intellect perfection of the intellect it is not so much as a transformation of it but the transformation of the mind a substitution of the large greater principle of knowledge mind it thinks in a narrow way it must be such substituted this minds thinking and uh, narrow mindedness will be transformed by the um, uh, substituted by the a uh, larger greater principle of knowledge and so with all the rest of the being that transformation will come this narrowness will go, go. the uh, confinedness the limitation must uh, disappear this is a slow and a difficult process that's what was here in the told this is a slow and a difficult process the road is long and not the hard not it is not hard to establish it is hard to establish the necessary basis it is not a easy going process whatever and whichever we take we think and we play the game that is not the so much uh, you know um uh, character characteristically it is not so easy that's what sri aurobind also tries to explain us not so easy that is the that is what must be understood and taken it for granted so what we have to do we must think in that way that way we must think and consider that is the primary thing and uh, hard to establish so the old ex- existing nature rages obstructs and the difficulty arises um, one after another till they are overcome these old they want to well, the past wants to stay on it will never try to um, give up so you have the only way to that it must be over past and overcome that is the only way against your window uh, course beautifully um, that uh, in this process of this transformation Sri Aurobindo goes forward uh, nicely quoting the great um, uh, thing in brief in by yoga we have to replace uh, dualities we have got a uh, dualities contrarieties uh, by unity so this a uh, greater replacement egoism by divine consciousness number 1 we have to replace <laughs> there is no other go <laughs> it is there because uh, already we have seen if you wish to install there the living presence keep the temple clean so you want a cup of uh, milk for that actually this water must be replaced removed thrown out the cup must be dried up it must be emptied that is what the requirement so we must repeal uh, you replace duality is by unity that is the first step duality is must be replaced by the uh, unity egoism must be replaced by divine consciousness this egoism wherever you see whomever you find egoism is hidden everywhere uh, so far this transformation is transformation is not being held as long as it is not overcome it is there so this egoism must be replaced by divine consciousness ignorance by divine wisdom i have got you ignorance i feel it is better 
so people keep coming one anyway i came to know that i am doing something wrong or out of pressure i do admit it so but i to think okay uh, for the time being it is changed but it is not transformation but uh, it must be replaced by divine wisdom thought by divine knowledge that is what ordinary thought must be um, replaced by divine knowledge not the knowledge of the books or people who have said but actually by the divine knowledge and weakness and struggle and effort by the self contented divine force that is what um, uh, you can see Mm, so very interesting things and uh, pain and uh, falsehood pain and uh, falsehood we can find um, uh, here um, by pleasure um, uh, so pain and false pleasure by divine this false pleasure we pretend to that is a false pleasure we are not real pleasure it is a false pleasure sometimes we pretend sometimes we smile smile so that people will be in a position to know that must be replaced by the divine peace again i want to quote it in brief by yoga what really we mean we must we have to replace the dualities by unity number 1 egoism by divine consciousness number 2 ignorance by divine wisdom number 3 thought by divine knowledge that is number 4 and um, weakness and struggle and um, uh, effort by self control um, self by self con- contented divine force and um, uh, finally we can find um, pain and the falsehood false pleasure by the divine bliss that is these are all required conditions we have to see this replacement is a must uh, contrary is must not be there so sri arvind has uh, categorically cautioned us don't imagine that uh, truth and falsehood the light and darkness surrender and selfishness ek dono ek opposite characteristic ka dono ek hi sath reh nahi sakte suppose if somebody is uh, koi uh, ordinary conscious mein rehta hai to rehne do iska koi problem nahi ek baar ek agar aapko aapka life uh, consecrated to divine भगवान के लिए समर्पित हो गया तो इसके सोच लेना चाहिए ये दोनों अपोजिट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विपरीत बिंदु कभी एक ही हार्ट में रह नहीं सकते इट मस्ट मे आर नॉट मस्ट नॉट बी एक्सपेक्टेड यू मस्ट नॉट कीप सपोज यू आर ट्राइंग टू कीप इट देन इट इज फ्रॉम स्टोर बिंदु यू आर सफरिंग यू आर सपोज यू आर विलिंग टू सफर द स्पिरिचुअल कंसिक्वेंस आध्यात्मिक विफलता भोगने के लिए तैयार हो तो रख लीजिए क्यों नो प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द लैंग्वेज ऑफ क्राइस्ट ब्रिंगिंग डाउन द किंगडम ऑफ हेवन टू अर्थ दैट इज व्हाट दैट इज व्हाट इंपोर्टेंट दिस इज द कॉल ऑफ लैंग्वेज ऑफ क्राइस्ट ब्रिंगिंग टू ब्रिंग डाउन द किंगडम ऑफ हेवन ऑन अर्थ इन ए मॉडर्न लैंग्वेज रिलीजिंग एंड इफेक्चुएटिंग रियलाइजिंग एंड इफेक्चुएटिंग द गड इन द वर्ल्ड so that is what we can find uh, the real definition of what we know uh, as the yoga of transformation sri arvind moves little forward uh, sri arvind quoted um, i have objected to the past uh, to vairagya of the ascetic kind vairagya of the ascetic kind and kind i have objected and the tamasic kind of vairagya of one is ascetic kind second one is tamasic kind that i have objected i have obje- i object to it um, for those who come to the yoga because it is incompatible with my aim not compatible with my aim for which i have pursued i have um, um, um established this integral yoga which is which is to bring the divine into life not vairagya you are not going to life run away from life but what is my purpose my purpose is to bring the divine into life so all other yogas regard this life as an illusion already we have seen in uh, <coughs> buddha and the shankar um, uh, we have seen there or uh, passing phase uh, but um, the supramental yoga alone regards it is a thing created by the divine for the progressive manifestation of the and takes the fulfillment of life and the body for its object so there itself it is not a thing of maya but the problem is that you have to consider better that it is the 
fulfillment of life and the body for the object through the process of supramentalization. Sri Aurobindo quotes, the transformation of the body must be the condition for the total transformation of the nature. So, body physical transformation is a must. And finally, Sri Aurobindo tries to quote, tell us, the transformation can only be done by a force infinitely greater than the man's force. Infinitely greater than the man's force. That is the requirement. 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 Thank you.